Hey guys, today what we're going to look at is how to draw a line of best fit for scatter plots. I'm going to give you a couple steps to follow, look at a few examples, and then do a multiple choice question. Here are my three steps I'm going to use when drawing a line of best fit. First, I'm going to pick two points in the data set to connect to form a line. When I do, I'm going to make sure that that line follows the trend of the whole data if it's positive, negative, or zero slope. And third, I'm gonna ensure or I'm gonna double check that all my points are almost the same distance, both above and below the line I draw. So this is an example of a negative slope. The trend, the Y values continue to decrease as X increases. The second one is an example of positive slope. So as I go across my graph and X is increasing, so is Y. The third one is an example of a zero slope because it's forming a horizontal line. This last graph is nonlinear. I could draw a line through the middle of the points, but it would make a curve or a bend. And today we're focusing on um, strictly straight lines. Here's the example we're gonna look at. It says which two points from the table best represent the trend line for the scatter plot that's shown. So technically, I duplicated this graph and I just made another one here. What we wanna do is draw two of the lines over here. So choice A and choice B, I'll label them. Then on this graph, which is the exact same one, I'm gonna plot answer choice C and answer choice D. A couple things that I just noticed were mistakes. Um, if you look at answer choice B, instead of this being 375, if you come up here, 3.4, it should have matched with 275. So I'm gonna scratch that out and put in 275. Then another mistake was in answer choice C. Super sorry. Uh, 1.6, when you look in your graph right here, it should have been 155 instead of 105. 155. And then in my notes, this should be a D instead of another C. So I'm going to do those two answer choices on the second graph. I'm going to choose two different colors um, to plot A and B. So answer choice A. It says 3.4 and then 2.75. So I'm gonna go over, here's three and a half. So 3.4 would be in front of it. I'm gonna go up to where I think 275 is, which is this one. I'm gonna color that dot green. Then the second point on answer choice A says stay on 3.4, but now use 2.36. So that would just be below it. If I take those two points and I connect them, it is just going to make a vertical line. I'm going to put arrows on the ends of it and I'm going to label this as line A. Okay, that definitely does not follow the pattern of the graph because it's not an undefined slope. So that's definitely wrong. I'm gonna choose another color for answer choice B just so I can see the differences real good. The first point says 2.2 2 and 148. I'm gonna come over to two, a little bit past, and then up right below 150. So I'm gonna make that dot pink. So you guys choose another color. Uh, it just helps you identify them better. Then the second point in answer choice B, it says 3.4, and then we updated this to say 275 which was a point we already had. So 3.4 up to 275 is this dot. So I'm gonna go over the top of that one now with this new color that I'm using for answer choice B, which was my pink. All right, I'm gonna try and connect those the best I can with a straight line. Then label this one, answer choice B. So that does follow the path of the dots, but when you look at it, some of these points, they're really far away from the line. 
This one's super far away from the line. This one's also kind of far from the line. Although there were several that were near the line, there may be a better choice, but I'm going to keep this one in mind. Question mark. That may be the best one. Then I'm going to move over to the next graph. I'm going to pick a new color. If you want to keep with those same two, you can, but I'm going to go blue on this one. Answer choice C, it says 1.6 and 155. So 1 1.6 would be just past the 1.5. 155 would be right here, right above 150. So I'm going to go over that dot. Then the second point in answer choice C says go to 2.2 2 and 148, which we already had this one. So that's why I kind of duplicated my graphs because now I've got dots on top of each other. But 2.2 2 and 148 would be right here. All right, if I try to connect these two dots and follow the path of the line, this is definitely not even going the right way. That line is showing me a negative trend in the data, which is 100% wrong. Not even following the right path. So answer choice C is a definite no. Then answer choice D, Again, I'm going to choose a different color, but if you guys want to keep repeating, you can. Uh, the first point is 2.5 and 198. So go over to 2.5, up to 198 would be this dot. So I'm going to color over it. Then the second point to make the line is 4.5 and 324. If you go over 4.5, then up. 324 would be right here. I'm gonna color that one orange. And then you guys can use a ruler or a straight edge. I'm placing a ruler on top of my screen and then I'm gonna connect those. If I put arrows on the end, you guys can see that all my dots, this dot's almost touching this dot's a little off, that dot's almost touching, that dot was on the line, this dot's almost on the line, these two are super close, that dot was on the line, this dot super close. So labeling this answer choice D, this is definitely the best line for the data because all my dots, when I look at them and I compare how far away each one of these dots are from the line I just drew, they're all super close. So best answer definitely is D. Those two points make the best line to describe the data in the graph.